do, do. One second, fellas. Shareable link, okay, bada bing. Shareable. All right. We should be live any second. Any one of these seconds. All right. Renee, what up? Platinum Malik, what's going on? Yo, Nathan, what's up, dude? Ability. Oh, Wayne, what's going on, guys? Hello, Peter. Hello, Peter. Um, okay, so I need to do... So we're just going to do some casual grind in here. Nothing too crazy today. Um, I am going to run some Hawkeye and Kamala. I was going to do some OLTs. What's going on, White Ninja? What's going on, Armando? How you guys doing? I'll just run a, I wanna run with randoms right now real quick. Um, just to get in the flow of things. I definitely wanna do some Hawkeye and some Kamala. I'm just trying to get as many people, like as many characters to the top, to 160 before doing, you know, before I start banging out elite raids because honestly uh, i'm like regular raid forget it we're just going to be doing elite raids so the characters that i'm really focusing on i just want to get up you know and it's easier to just do olts anyone 75s no i haven't even done the elite raid yet i haven't even i haven't had the time to do it um i haven't had the time i was going to try to do it with i was going to try to get the group together that we did the um the first raid with so that was going to be me lejeune sadat and doom killer that was the ultimates um but they um we just we just couldn't get like the squad together for that and then um you know no one like we wanted to like stream it but also like not do it to get it was it was a weird setup and then eventually now everyone's just doing the elite raid and i'm just i don't have i just don't really have the time all the time to do it you know so What's up, Omar? I'm doing good, man. Faxito, what's up? Can't imagine trying to OLT without you. Nah, you got it, dude. You got it. Easy peas, bro. Easy peasy, I promise you. What up, Swiggity? Yo, how do you guys like the new green screen setup? So I got a green screen behind me. My girlfriend got it for me for Christmas. I think it's looking pretty good. Um, I'll have to set up... I think it, it needs to be maybe a little bit closer so I can widen it out a bit. But um, but yeah, otherwise, I mean, it's pretty sweet. Uh, you cannot correct ability. You cannot get... Targeted buff does not come on Vibranium gear. You can get targeted buff with Sonic, but not Vibranium. Uh, we missed your streams. Bro, I'm, I'm right here. I'm doing good, man. I hope you guys are doing good. I'm on my last 175. Jesus. How many how many elite raids do you have to do? Is it 10? I feel like you get one, you get three power up times like times two, right? So that would be 10. Or do I have those numbers wrong? Oh, like I totally missed the uh, the uh, elite exo. Rip. That's pretty funny. Yeah, I just haven't had the time to run it over and over again. I mean, from what I've seen and heard, I mean, I understand the rate. It seems like it's just the same but harder, which is fine. Um, so I'm not, like, intimidated by it or anything, but, like, I definitely need to, like, set aside time where I can, like, really commit to doing it. You know what I mean? And, like, right now I just don't have that time every so often, you know? So, you know, it is what it is.
but it's all good. We're just gonna, I'm gonna get the characters I need up to 160 and then we're gonna go from there. I've been grinding other things, man. I've been grinding some sneaky stuff. You don't even know. You guys don't even know what I'm grinding. Wait till you see the video I got coming out tomorrow. Elias, what's going on, man? Badass green screen. Thank you, Show World. It's actually, it's really nice. It's the, um, it's the Elgato one. So if you get if you see Jay Shockblast, tell him Trick's got the Elgato green screen. He'll be very happy. Um, it's it's actually sweet because I used to have a green screen back in the day, and now obviously as I show you guys the green screen, you can't see it. <laughs> uh, but it's a really sweet one. I used to have one back in the day, and it was like a shower curtain. You had to like set up like these these wire racks, and then like put in like the the hooks. And hang it from the hooks, you know. This one, the Elgato one, if you go check out the Elgato green screen, you just pull it up and it auto kind of, it's got like a mechanism in the back where it can just stand and then and then go back down. So I, you just pull it up and it stays up and then you just push it down and it goes right back down and then it folds up, it rolls right up into itself and you can just tuck it away. It's insane. 10 Elite Raids, yeah. Hey, what's up, Rondo? You get your target attack on for Iron Man? I did. I did. The only reason I'm not playing him right now is because he's already at 160. So I'm just trying to get a few other characters to 160, and then we'll play. We'll do what we need to do. But I did get it. The stats aren't great. It's got might and intensity. Yikes. But it's got targeted, targeted. So I, I was grinding so much, dude. I said, forget it. I said, forget it. I'm, I'm keeping it. I had actually gotten a targeted, targeted laser with pretty decent stats, but I said, you know, I, I really don't want the laser. Even though I said, I, early on, I said I'd settle for the laser. Um, but after so much grinding, I said, you know what? I, I can't settle for this after all of this grinding. I got to get the best thing. Um, it just doesn't, it's not as good with the laser because you really want sonic lasers um, just because, like, lasers already do plasma. So if you're not, if you're doing cosmic and plasma on your lasers you're kind of you're losing out almost you know luckily our thor knows what he's doing so that's good hey talent what's going on man green screen looks everything up to keep the good content yo appreciate it brother thank you dude and yep no no stopping the content now bro we're going ham and cheese for reals feel like the Thor has got this, but also he doesn't have this. Nope, the Thor is not doing the thing that he should be doing. Started playing Hawkeye, got him from level 8 to 150 champion. Nice. Yo, that's awesome, Divine. He, Hawkeye is one of the best characters in the game. No, no cap. He is insane. Bro, what is this what is this Thor doing? No one gonna get the other side? Okay. I take back everything I said. I thought the Thor knew what he was doing. He seemed to get the first one pretty quickly. But now he doesn't seem to remember how it works. It looks like they're gonna do it. I'm just gonna keep getting time until they figure it out. The Thor should be able to solo all three of these. But he seems to not know the trick. What's up, Nathan? How you doing, man? <laughs> they gave up on that one. Oh my god, Maron. Maron, someone get the other side, please. Okay, thank you. Oh my God, we got it. Hallelujah. Holla freaking Luya. What's up, Somnus? Yeah, Rondo's got the full roster of God roll pieces. Every every guy he's playing has the God roll piece. He ain't fucking around.
Some of us, some of us can't be that lucky, you know. That guy's fucking dead. This last dude. There he is. Oh no! <laughs> I fell right into that. Oh my god! Sometimes with the bag of tricks, it can get a little, a little up in the pants, you know. Like, where did those arrows go? Jeepers, creepers, man. What's up, Yardrat? What's up, Trey? How you guys doing? You like cereal? Bro, I love cereal. Depends on the cereal, though. I actually really don't like Trix. Trix cereal is, like, one of the worst cereals. It, um... You know, it all came about... I was never, like, a... I mean, obviously, when I was a kid, I ate a bunch of cereal, but... Um... You know, once I got the name Trix Ridiculous and I started streaming, like, of course, all the cereal comments came up. And, um, you know, I've eaten a number of cereals, like, on stream, but I've, like, of course everyone's like, oh, you gotta eat Trix. And, honestly, Trix is the fucking worst cereal. It's so bad. Um, the actual best cereal, I think there's not really a debate. The the GOAT cereal is Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I don't even think that one's up for questioning. So what's the trick with Thorge's God Blast? No, the trick is you throw the hammer. So you 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 put the hammer on the thing... And then when it when you have to melee the things, you just call down the lightning. When you call down the lightning from the hammer, it should hit all of them instantly. I don't think the God Blast even works, because I think it has to be a ranged attack, so. Although it looks like this Thor has some good damage, so that's good at least. Uh, you can use Pulsar Arrow to explode them. Oh, really? That's actually a good idea. I didn't even think of that. Yo, good looks. Good looking out. You know, I actually use the Pulsar Arrows in, um, the raid for the Shard Room. For Shuri's Room. I feel like it's a lot better than the, than the other arrow. Oh. Everyone just assumes you should use, be using Razor Arrow, of course. But honestly, it, I feel like that's not as good. Thor should be able to just get that whole thing, honestly. The whole top part, if he knows what he's doing. It would be ironic if he doesn't use God Blast for the top here, but he tried to use it for the other part. That would be something else. Cinnamon Toast Crunch is the GOAT. For real. What's up, Huncho Bill? What's up, the Mamba? Yo, looks great like this? All right, word. And I may, I may switch, like, my face around, you know? Um, like... I, when I was putting it together, I just thought this kind of like slightly le right of center spot was a decent spot, but I could always put myself like in the corner or something. I was going to actually do something where I was like, oh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck is going on here? Uh, I was going to do something where I had like a little bit of an overlay. Can I not revive this guy? No. They're all just like perma dead. Yeah, I think these guys, I think they're perma dead. Or at least that guy's. They'll just have to revive. Let's we'll just get fucking frozen because of this. We're probably going to get glitched out. Cinnamon Toast Crunch and Reese's. Reese's are good. Oh, allergic to cinnamon? Rip. That's a rough one. I mean, it might be worth it. It, it is the taste worth dying for. No, bro, fuck reloading your checkpoint. Yo, we're good. We got this. Just fucking respawn in. We're just going to beat it. Just going to beat it without you. checkpoint we gotta fucking do everything around here i bet the pulsars will actually work pretty good here oh yeah look at that does it hit both sides no it doesn't 
Okay, so maybe it's not as good as I thought. If Thor could just get the top ones, we'll be in pretty good shape. And I can help with the top ones too. Reese's definitely top three. Well, what's what's everyone's top cereal? Let's 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 put it to a put it to a, a crown contest here. Who's the king? For me, it's for me it's um, cinnamon toast. But Reese's is also good. Um, I mean, there's a lot of good ones. Let's be honest. Fruity Pebbles is pretty good. Tricks is just bad. Obviously, all of the healthy cereals are fucking terrible. Like, no one wants fucking Raisin Bran, let's be honest. Cheerios. Like, no one no one wants any of that jazz. Oh, my God. Really banking on Thor, just getting that one last one at the top. Oh, he's, he's doing something. He's flying around with fucking lasers. We'll see if it can do it. Generally, I just double God Blast the whole top area. Did it. No thanks to Thor. Thoughts on Pop-Tarts? Yeah, Pop-Tarts are good. It depends on the Pop-Tart. Um, I personally like the... Uh, the brown sugar ones, but there there are a lot of bad Pop Tarts flavors. To be honest, um, it's it's very possible. Like the the floor on Pop Tarts is very low, right? Like some Pop Tarts are good. Like the ones that are good are pretty good, but the ones that are bad are just like the worst. The ones that are like the bad pop tarts, you just want to, you'd rather just kill yourself, you know? Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Reese's Puffs, Fruity Pebbles, in that order. Captain Crunch? Interesting. Captain Crunch. Got the OT Web Shooters uh, form. It's a good piece. Nice, dude. Honey Bunches of Oats? Come on. Honey Bunches of Oats. Come on. S'mores popped up. Yeah, s'mores are good. S'mores are one of the good ones. Those brown sugar ones, I like. S'mores, I like. Um, strawberry are okay. Um, but there's there's some bad ones. Pretty much anything other than those three are fucking awful. They always sound better than they taste. Yeah, that's true. You literally try to get some Pop-Tarts and you're just like... You're like, oh man, Pop-Tarts. I'm going to open a pack of Pop-Tarts. And, and then you start eating it and you're like, all right. Pop-Tarts are funny because they're meant to be toasted, but who the fuck toasts them, right? Like, I don't know anybody who toasts their Pop-Tarts. You just eat them as is. That's the way to do it. Come on, Widow. On your feet. This ain't the Soul Stone. Let's go. Put your Pop-Tarts in the freezer and then dump it in milk? All right, well, that's just some weirdo shit, bro. I don't know what the hell that is. That sounds like some weirdo stuff. I got to get the piece from the raid. There's a there's a Arrow from the raid for Hawkeye. I really want to do some some more raids with Hawkeye as well, elite raids anyway, um, because he really needs 
or I really need for him um, the the melee piece that gives vibranium on split shot, has precision, and has um, the extended ten second extended duration of uh, what is it? 10 second uh, extended duration of the recovery arrow. All of that together is fantastic. So I definitely need that. And then I need, um, and then I need the chess piece from the elite raid that has the extra split shot arrows for Hawkeye. I assume it's a chess piece. If it's not a chess piece, we're going to have a fucking problem because now we're going to be rocking both pieces. Uh, it has to be a chess piece. If it's not a chess piece, then they really screwed up. Um, Hey, what's up, Joe? You have to try frozen Pop-Tarts and milk? Bro, I don't know. But what flavor Pop-Tarts? Ability down bad, bruh. Listen, I don't control Nightbot. He's got a mind of his own. He's actually taking over the stream. You got you to gotta answer to him now. Bully Maguire, what's going on, man? Uh, effective way to get all the comic books. They seem to be effective in increasing overall stats. They are effective. In, is, they are effective at increasing overall stats. It is a slow burn, but it does affect all heroes. Um, so yeah, they can definitely be very good. They are just. You know, is this rusted metal have like no defense? He's just a no defense guy. Um. There's really no one good way of getting um, all the comic books. Unfortunately, uh, doing harm rooms is a pretty solid way. Yo, no one's in the middle. I'll get in the middle if someone else wants to get the rest. Um, harm rooms are pretty good. Um, certain harm rooms can actually give you the comic books of the character whose harm room it is. Um, not all of them though a lot of times it's just random and if you're just going for pure comic books the best way to do it is to get two um, isos that give an extra five percent chance to find comic books in strong boxes and try to stack as much proficiency as you can for your perk chance and then just go around as a flyer like iron i obviously get that on iron man spider-man um or thor and just go farming through the uh, elite desert or excuse me snowy tundra vault it is like i said it is random but it's basically just uh it'll still get you just like a, that'll get you the fastest amount of comics per second but you unfortunately cannot control which ones but if you're just looking to get as many comics to just get them all up as possible that's your best bet it'll take a while it's probably not super duper worth it. I mean, comics in general are pretty small stat boosts, but the difference between zero comics and every single comic at five, tier five, is a massive difference. Massive from beginning to end, but the, the changes in on the way, you know, from there are so, like, small, they're hardly noticeable. It is meant to be a very slow creep forward, but there need to be more ways to get them. Just having them through chests is, is not good. We should be able to just kind of get them through play randomly. Like, they should just drop, like, gear, you know? Oh. Oh. Oh, this whole thing's getting a little screwy. I mean, I'm on the thing. Would I prefer the next uh, hero to be uh, Elektra or She-Hulk? I mean, I guess She-Hulk considering that's the one it's probably going to be i really would rather neither of them um until they at least until they fix melee i can already tell you she hulk's going to be terrible um and every character they have coming is going to be terrible if they're melee characters so i mean you know they can pretend melee's fine all they want but you know now that more high level content like it, like it didn't matter before there was a raid right when it was just like olts and like, yeah, like you could do, you know, ranged was the optimal thing, but it didn't really matter. If you were playing melee, you could still do, you know, super adaptoid or whoever else. But now it's really coming to light that like, the fuck? It's really coming to light that the uh, range is just so much more powerful. It's not even funny. And uh, here we are, like Stunads, you know, waiting for another melee character to come out and then 
and then there you go. Oof. Yo, the 11% comics are the most clutch. Those are the ones worth getting more than anything. Do you need to make it so you play the Mega Hive and every hero at least once a week? I mean, yeah, that would be cool. I don't, I don't see that coming, but it would be sweet. I think I can do this now, and uh, it'll come back before we finish. What up, Lex? What's going on, brother? 10% of the comics opening by opening DNHs. Yeah, I'm going to open a bunch of DNHs for sure. Um I I was saving my keys, but now I feel like why should I save my keys? I'll just I'll just use them. Yesterday I got Spider-Man armor stat bonus to tier 2 everyone's defense up by like a thousand. Bro, yeah, those are the best those are the best things to get. Hands down. And there's a number of them that can do it. There's a Hawkeye one. There's a there's an Avengers one and a Black Panther one. Shield is probably be melee. Melee is lacking. Yeah, exactly. I mean that that is it, that is the issue, hands down. I mean, there's no way to sugarcoat that. Like, she'll be fine if she has a way to spam one attack. That's good, you know. Like if she has a way to spam like a signature attack or a power attack, and has power attacks deal element, then like if she like Hulk has a ground pound, right? And it's what gets him through it because you just have power attacks deal whatever element. And then you just do ground pound and it's just all that element. Whereas other characters have to wait for a finisher, which is terrible. But it works for Hulk because he can do it that way. If she can do it that way, that would be great for her. But again, it's like whatever. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Yo, Pennywise, what's going on, man? Finally did the raid my Thor owned. Nice, dude. Yo, Thor is a fantastic character for the raid. Just like Hawkeye is a fantastic character for Super Adaptoid. That was pretty fast. That was definitely like sub 15 seconds. Green screen does look great. Yo, thank you, dude. Thank you, thank you. Here it is right here. You can see it right behind me. It's the good one too. It's the it's the Elgato one, so it actually like can retract and fold and stuff, so it's pretty sweet. Uh, yo, Lex, I'm good, man. I'm chilling. We're grinding. You know how it is, bro. You know how it is. Oh, I swear to God. I hope I... Okay, I was going to say, I hope I fucking didn't do it on Hawkeye already. Yo, Avenger hater, let's go. <laughs> we got a celebrity in here. Yo, Avenger hater, what's going on, bro? Shilk will jump higher than Hulk? Yo. That's a fact. Imagine. Oh, that is funny. Oh, I can't be using that. I can't be equipping that. All right. Let me do this. Let me do this. Bada bing. What do we get? Bada bing. See, I don't have to look. Like, that's the good thing about the Omega, the, uh, the Omega level threat is that you don't have to actually look at the, the gear you get. You just know it's crap. So 45, 48, 48. No, oh, stayed at 45, 48, 48. Some of these go way higher. I don't know what the deal is with some things going up and some things not going up, but when they do go up, it can be quite a bit. This one I don't want to get rid of because it's crit hit chance for power attacks, which is great for Hawkeye. Um, this one's obviously nothing. I mean, that could be good. See, like, these could be good. Cryo lethal buff. I mean, on a damage buff on an ISO, that's sweet, right? But is it good? I don't know. Got your team yet? What team? Tricks, can you share your Hawkeye build? Yeah, of course, Mamba. Um, so, well, I was using a, um, 
I was using this piece, which is just a split shot particle, Valor Precision Resolve, good stats, good perk, nothing too crazy. In the raid, I use split shot Vibranium and then status damage for bow attacks. It doesn't have uh, the precision, so you'll see the stats are lower across the board, but the Vibranium is just so useful. Um, ranged, I got this piece, Tachyon's Rays, fantastic. Unicorn Roll, Precision, Valor, Targeted Buff, Pulsar's Cosmic, um, and then Targeted Tachyon Surge. Obviously, with Tachyon Surge being back, it's insane. Delete this real quick. Delete all this garbage. What are these? Get out of here. Get out of here. What am I even doing with half of these pieces? Am I tripping? Why do I even have these? There you go. Um, in the three slot, of course, it's just the operative's armor. Nothing nothing too crazy there. And then um, in the heroic, I'm using the ranger's bow. Um, this is the legendary version of the operative's kit, which the operative kit has a little bit higher stats, but I actually got pretty good stats here. Um, as well so overall these are a little better and then i just like the random third perk ideally three rapid kills for a heroic charge burst would be better but this one's good too yo dakota with the super chat two bucks doing olt mind helping me to run yo dakota thank you for the two and yeah we can get you in man um i gotta do the reset real quick so give me a sec i assume people are telling me the reset stopped working but I'll just assume people were probably doing it wrong because I didn't see a patch come out. Um, I guess I'll do the 10 bits. Yeah, of course, Mamba. Yeah, the range piece, it took me a while to grind for that one. I've grinded that similar piece on a couple of different guys. I got one for Thor, one for Iron Man, and one for Hawkeye. They were a bitch to grind, but they're absolutely, they absolutely slay. Absolutely. Team for, oh, for the 20, oh, for Doom Secret War, yo. So, not to be the party pooper, I was going to put a video out on this. I'm not actually going to be in it. I know. Um, because I do have stuff to do with family that day, so not going to be part of it, unfortunately. But I will be trying to root everybody on, for sure. There we go. Close again. Um, system, date and time. Set it back. Perfect. Uh, what's up, Stacy? Got a uh, Tachyon's Raise Arrow for Hawkeye from OLT. Damage buff, power attacks, and Tachyon Surge from the OLT? Wow. That's insane. I never even heard of that. I mean, I've heard of that piece, but I haven't had, blah, 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 haven't heard of it from the OLT. That's an insane roll. Congratulations. It still works. Just did it. All right. Well, so did I. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I'm sure. I'm sure it does, though. Confirmed, confirmed it does. Okay, sweet. Um, so I'll do, we'll do Hawkeye again. And then we'll do, um, I'm just trying to do Hawkeye and Kamala. I do also want to do some Widow, but I'm not like racing to do Widow. Unless like, unless anyone wants to carry me. You know? Because my Widow's not perfect. She just, she's fine for like 90% of the content, but then once it gets to Super Adaptoid, she's a little, she can't carry the team. Like some, I'll have to have other folks who can, you know, kick some, kick some ass as well. Uh, show some Iron Man. Yo, I just, I would show you Iron Man, Luke, but I already got him at 160. 
So I'm trying to grind out some guys that don't that aren't at 160. I finally got this piece. Like I said, um, not the greatest roll, might and intensity, but targeted, targeted with missiles. So really, really good. Still using the discordant shielding, precision, valor, resilience, unibeam explosion. Really, really good. And then I've got, which is, it's great. This is great because now I just have targeted buff, targeted attack and search, so I can be a little more flexible. This is just a stat stick with crit chance for all weapons. Um, this, the Unibeam Explode is sweet. And then this is chance, a couple of chances for Intrinsic Burst with uh, great stats. So my stats are fantastic. It's literally Precision, Valor, Resolve, pretty flat across the board, right? Uh, obviously high on precision, higher on precision than anything. Um, and then there you go. What up, Joe? What up, MH? Yo, Shipway, what's going on? And Rondo. Okay. Well, that seems to be the the group. So uh, Dakota, Dakota, what was your, you're, you're definitely in, what was your um, gamer tag? I'll play as Widow, fuck it. We'll, we'll do some Widow. I haven't played Widow in a long time. Um, so let me just invite Dakota. I know your name is different, and I know it begins with a D, but I don't remember. I want to say it's Devil's Dawn, but I could be wrong. And then Rondo, Rousey, and The Shipway. Those are the first ones I saw. Uh, Rondo, Rousey... The shipway. What's up, Prometheus? Oh, he's recently started dropping tachyons? Yeah, that's crazy. It is Devil's Dawn. Where? Yeah, let's go, bro. We got Rondo. Yeah, we're going to smash through this thing. Got Sonic Laser, Targeted Buff, and Defeat Buff. Gears Just Fire. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty sweet. Yo, you're ready to raid Prometheus? Bro, I don't think I'm going to do a raid tonight, but possibly... Possibly next stream. I would like to do... This this stream came on a little late today, and I was just trying to get... I'm just still just trying to get a few characters to 160, so we could start doing some elite raids. But um Yeah, you know, we're still just we're still just doing the do. Dread, um, I think we are full on this one. Uh we can get you in another one. Shipway, Devils, and Rondo, yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh just got it back into Avengers after being really into it at launch. What should I look in? For an Iron Man build. I mean, if you played a lot at launch, I mean, missiles are still good. I'll show you my Iron Man quick. Um, missiles are still really good. You obviously want um, to just go precision with him, get something with a good um, missile element. You want like a warm element on missiles, so like a cosmic, uh, PIM, plasma, vibranium, even on missiles. And then you just want a reliable way to get damage buff. Um, and then from there, if you can get intrinsic burst on him, that's a new one. If you they added that cinch launch where you can just get your intrinsic bar completely back. Um, that's really good, obviously, for like because he has to spend a lot. Um, so yeah, I mean, just make sure you have a good damage buff, a good element on your missiles. And then um, a way to get Intrinsic Burst back. And then just solid stats. Precision, Valor, Resolve. Those are the big three. Um, just go crazy with that and you should be good to go. Easy. Uh, hey, Trix, do you know the perk stacking glitch in the Mega Hive? I do not. Uh, it's Katashi. Uh, what are your thoughts? Oh, Kaka Kakashi. Kakashi from Naruto. From the orange guy anime. What are your thoughts on Spider-Man in Endgame content? He's fine. 
he's absolutely fine. People are sleeping on Spider Man. He's very good at he's very good at the things he's good at. Like people people are having problems because they're trying to compare him to a freaking Thor or Hawkeye or just like insert character here who can just blow bosses away. And Spider Man's not about that. He does other things. He's a really good support character. He can taunt on command. Um, he generates more orbs than probably anybody. He's a very, very good character for the things he's good at. So, and I can tell you, Lejeune has a has a, a Spider-Man at 175, and he was showing me him. Bruh, the man's got 6,000 melee rating and, and 5,000 heroic rating. He slaps. He absolutely slaps, even for, even for melee. It's like, if you have a high enough melee rating, you're going to do damage. I don't care who you're fighting. All right, Mr. Beach, yeah, we can get, we can get you in. Um, we can get whoever in. Just add me. Trick's ridiculous. If I don't have you, please add me. Um, that'll be the fastest way for you to get in the next game. Uh, when did the cool hammer Thor and Hulk nameplate sleeve? Oh, no. Um, I don't know. I think they left with the event. The uh, I think they were in the other event. They were in, like, the, um, the Spider-Man, like, launch event, I think. I think they left with that. So pretty much the same build for Iron Man. Yeah, I mean, Iron Man hasn't changed much. What was good for him is still good. I mean, there's a couple of new gear perks, new things. But at the end of the day, I mean, like when you get into the raid and you, you start doing raid stuff, you'll you'll maybe find things that work for you um, that you maybe weren't thinking of, you know, at other, other times. But I can tell you, I mean, he what worked for him in the past is still really strong. There's no no question there. Yo, say what you guys want. Widow, widow fucking slaps. Look at this. Widow's over here slapping. Slapping. Yo, Vastion, I got you, bro. I just worry about Widow's single target damage. But, like, especially against the Daptoid, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Now it's not I'm not actually a melee character, but doing this actually gets these guys out of their stupid thing. Cause you can't you have to hit them with heroics. So there we go. Uh doo -doo 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 -doo. yo, Dare Duval, you got six K and five K too, and he's great. Yeah, I mean he's gonna be good. Gucci, I got you. Yeah, definitely, if you like Spider-Man, if you like how he plays, then then level him. You don't worry about who's good, what's good. If you like Spider-Man, play Spider-Man. Every character is viable. Every I see every character um, doing Elite Raid, doing this, doing that. Like, they can all do it. Just play who you like, trust me. Like, some characters are probably, are easier, right? Like... It's no mystery that Thor is better than Kate Bishop, right? Um, that's not... No one's trying to hide that, right? Um, but you could still... Does, does that mean you can't beat the raid with Kate Bishop? No, you can absolutely beat it. And the raid is honestly more about, like, knowing what you're doing than the strength of your characters, honestly. Like, if you're in a team of four and you guys are, like, even kind of in the end game, um, you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. If you give it an honest chance and you learn the mechanics, you're going to be Gucci. Uh, keep upgrading Arrow for Hawkeye. Uh, the one... Yeah, oh, for the love of God, Stacy. yes. If you, uh, if you have damage buff on power attacks, if you have proficient buff and targeted tachyon surge on Hawkeye, and it also has precision... You're in the money. That's the best. That's one of the best pieces you can get, hands down. 
like one of the best like very few people in the game would even have it Is everything all right over here? Okay, we got it. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell's going on? Uh, yo, Kevin, Kevin Barry, Kevin Bear, how you doing, brother? Just got the game. Who do you recommend? Um, I mean, who do you like? Love playing ranged type characters. Okay, well, you're in a, you're in for a good treat then because ranged is hands down the more powerful of the two play styles in this game right now. So that's good that you're in for that. Um, I would recommend if you're going, if you want to play like pure ranged, Kate Bishop, Hawkeye, Thor, Iron Man, those are all fantastic ranged options. Black Widow can be very good from range. She can also play melee a little bit. Um, every character can, other than probably Hulk, has some type of ranged element to them. They can at least do some ranged. Uh, but yeah. Yo, the Mambo with the membership. Yo, thank you so much, Mamba, for the coffee. Appreciate you, brother. Thank you, thank you. Totally, totally unnecessary, but very generous of you, man. Thank you, thank you. And now you get a little thing next to your name. Congratulations. Oh my god, how'd I miss that so bad? Did you guys see how bad I missed that fucking thing? Holy! Whoa. Okay, we got it. I mean, Widow can put in some damage. She's better against crowds, and she can generate a lot of orbs. Single target's a little sus, unless you're really specced for single target, which I honestly should be. I I'm probably got a different Widow build coming in pretty soon. Um, I like this Widow build, but it was only really good when, like, the, when you were doing, like, Hives and, like, maybe Tachyon Rifts as, like, the, you know, the endgame content. But nowadays, I feel like better Widows can be, can be had. I almost want to keep farming low-key. I got, I still got, oh, jeez, it reset them all! Oh, oh well. That's fine. I don't really care about the Red Room anymore, actually. I was going to say, I almost want to farm a targeted, targeted piece on Widow, but that might be a little rough. But I'm probably going to switch my Widow up to be more of a full auto Widow. I kind of want to get targeted buff full auto, right? So I can trigger tar uh, damage buff very often and then uh, just do a lot of takedowns, but also have my uh, Widow's Bite for single target. So it'll be a Valor-based build with damage buff up all the time. And then you can use her, her staff as well as her Widow's Bite for big damage. And you can probably still keep your invisibility up pretty much all the time. That's, that's the build I'm, I'm thinking about. Because I, I would like to play more Widow. She's a very strong character. No, there's no doubt about it, right? Um, and I know people have some Widow builds that absolutely smoke them for single target damage, but, like, low-key, I don't even know how to do that. So, we'll see. But I ain't tripping. It's all good. Hey, Lejeune, what's going on? Yo, Doom Killer. Yo, look at this team in here. The ultimate's in the building. What's going on, fellas? How's the grind going for you? Man, you guys have been going fucking hard on these elite raids. I haven't even been in one elite raid, and you guys got, like, multiple 175s. Like, I know I'm not tripping. The other thing I'm seeing, too, Widow is actually a different meta on PC, because on PC they use her pistols. Um, her pistols are her better DPS, because there's really no firing limit to them. You pretty much just let loose 
um, as fast as you can pull the trigger. But the thing about that is that when you're on PC and you're using a keyboard and mouse, that's obviously a lot faster than anything else. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Someone's fucking dead. Oh, devils, I got you, bro. Oh, no. I think Spider-Man's got you. All right. I'm fighting for my life over here. Oh my god. That's why they call it the Omega level threat. I'm fighting for my life over here. We did it. A Spidey build. Yo, Lejeune's got the Spider-Man. He, he might actually be Peter Parker himself. Off top. What's the best raid gear for Hawkeye? I mean, I haven't gotten the elite raid gear for him yet, but I imagine the piece that still gives the split shot arrow from the raid has to be the best piece, right? Um, the only other thing, there's uh, actually, Lejeune actually has a piece that I want. It's the the melee piece for Hawkeye, but it's got split shot vibranium um, pr precision and then also 10 second extra duration to the recovery arrow. That's money. We're just missing Sadat the Prophet. I'm a official time traveler. Bro, pff, you think I give a shit, bro? I put out the video on it. I don't give an I don't give a rat's ass, bro. I, I hope more people time travel. Low key, who cares? Like, it's their problem. Like, they should have they should have released the raid just like when they chose to release it, regardless of what level you were at. You know what I'm saying? That's how they should have done it. And then, you know, if you time travel at that point, once it's already out, you do it a thousand times. That's one thing, right? But like, yeah. Where the fuck am I going? Um, honestly, it's no one's problem but their own that it's that it's people are doing it. Honestly. So I don't I don't feel bad. You think I give a shit? Come on, please. Fucking one, one shot there. And don't forget, Widow, Widow can do the auto takedowns. Don't, don't forget that one. That's also low key insane. But you want to make sure that you're uh, applying status, right? And then you go, give him a little bit boop, bada bing, and you're good to go. See, I'm just time traveling right now to uh, to get everyone to 160 that I want to 160. And then from there, we'll just do the raid when we do the raid, right? Uh, and then I can just go elite raids nonstop. Because at that point, why am I going to do regular raid, right? I might as well just go straight to elite. I'm not, I'm not even worried about it, you know what I'm saying? What up, Dread? What up, GB? Where'd you get that reactive Hawkeye nameplate? I went to the market, didn't see it. Ooh, I don't know. What's my Widow build? It's nothing fancy. Let me show you. It's nothing fancy. Um, stat stick in the first slot, which honestly, this is actually like the worst stat stick I've ever seen. Uh, I think it's the best thing I got, though. Right now, I think I deleted something. There was something that gave, like, extra damage while invisibility was active, and I think I deleted it, but P piece of crap there. Uh, targeted buff, expert spark, no precision, but 
and then it's got high cal cosmic so that works out um reactive buff nothing fancy here and then the red room coil this is a hot ticket this is the hottest ticket i have um this is the best piece on widow you definitely want this pretty much no matter what this comes from last avenger standing or you can get it from the red room event and uh absolutely the most insane piece that you could probably get hands down that's pretty much it and then it's just precision 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 but i'm probably going to change it up on her and do some more valor um but we'll see we'll have to we'll have to fiddle with it all right i'll i'll stay in the middle Uh, it's also PvE. If it was PvP, I see people with business about next point. Right, exactly. Well, that's, yeah, that's, I mean, that's the other thing, right? It's, oh shit, I didn't see this guy, my bad. Right, it's a PV, it's a PvEZ game, right? There's no PvP going on. If, like, if there were PvP, sure, then it would, I mean, any type of world's first or any of that bullshit, I mean, it's all negated anyway, right? I mean, like, I heard people talking about, like, a world's first elite raid like when it comes out and it's like come on like i think i think we're past that like blame blame cd that they don't have that you know i mean you couldn't even do a real world's first anyway like we we were looking like a fish unofficial world's first we were like looking to try to do some type of race like that when the raid came out but honestly like if crystal dynamics themselves were actually tracking like the way bungie does um i mean there's a million cheaters in this game so i mean none of that even matters let's be honest dude well can i play with you after this one yeah of course bro yeah i'm not sure who i'm gonna bring in next we'll i'll have to go back to chat um and just see who because i know a, a number of people wanted in i don't remember the the exact order that we're gonna be bringing people or if anyone's you know here or not here or whatever the case may be but yeah, it's all good. Hawk, uh, your limb, Hawkeye's operative's armor you can get from the priority mission. You have to try it weekly or you can do a save cheese on it. What's up, Impulse? What's up, General? I did. Do you like the beautiful green screen? It's the Elgato one. It's pretty fire, I'm not going to lie. Um, I had to fiddle with the settings. I could use a little more lighting... Um, cause it's, it's a little, it's, you guys probably can't see it too much, but like on my end, it's, it's not quite to the, to the standard I'm looking for, but, um, if I got more light, cause it, you need a lot of light for a green screen to work. Right. So like if I had more light coming from this way, the green screen would be more uniform in its greenness. And then that's, what's going to cause it to work better. That's how they, that's how it works. Yo, also, guys, we we passed, since my last stream, we passed 4,500 uh, subs. So uh, we're actually going to be doing a pretty sizable giveaway. Uh, I have a couple ideas of what I'm going to do, but pretty pretty good giveaway at uh, 5K subs. So I know I haven't, like, really advertised that, but that'll be the big the big Christmas gift for everybody. Or I guess I guess one person, but, <laughs> but uh, who knows when it's going to help. Melee is spider drone damage. As is insane. It's just that melee you have to be on it. Yeah, I mean, well, that's, that's why I said Lejeune, right? I mean, melee is just bad, right? Like, some characters do melee well. Like, like Hulk, Thor, they do melee well because they can do an element on every attack. Spider-Man, you have to go... The thing that I've found the most consistent is when you're in the air, he's got the light combo finisher, which actually comes up pretty often. So if you're doing mid-air melees, you can get the light combo finisher happen, happening often. Other than that, though, um, you know, it is what it is. You kind of just got to go go melee and that's it. I mean, if you're just hitting someone with melee, I mean, if your melee is high enough, you're going to do damage, right? Um, it's just a matter of doing it. That's all. But at the end of the day, I mean, Spider-Man, I think you have to play him like Melee Valor. Because the spider drone is his best thing, right? That's his best ability by far. Um, 
And he's just not a ranged character. I don't care what anyone says about him being a ranged character. He just isn't. Um, his, his range is too awkward. Even if you're trying to use it, it's inconsistent. The charge up takes forever. If you're just trying to use the stupid web blast um, or the, just the, the plain web shooters, they're straight up garbage. Like You're going to miss most of your shots anyway because of just how bad the animation is. Um, unless the boss is standing fucking still, but even then you're like not looking good, you know? Oh, pin enemies damage buff, rip. Sadat's busy shining his crystal ball, yo, I believe it. All right, let's see if we can get something going here. So what I want to do is get a damage buff first. Okay, we got it. All right, this could this could work. This could be some pretty sizable damage. Well, that well that uh, of course that Bifrost did a big chunk of it, but the triple the triple uh Widow's Bite attachment with the, the guaranteed crit from behind and damage buff. That worked out pretty well. Spidey's web pull is Spidey's range. Yeah, I'm going to make a yank build. They call me the fastest yank in the West. Just give him, just give him a yank. The web pull seems to be ranged and made because I'm doing 200 Ks and that's and I don't got ranged. Yeah, I don't know what the hell it scales with. That's a weird one. Yo, GG's guys. I hope you guys got something. Well, I'm not gonna say something good. Well, maybe something good because I heard people have been getting tachyon surge pieces from this now. Um, but yo, I hope you guys got something good that you can upgrade with. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna bring in a new crew. Yo, you're good, Dakota. We got it through. Yo, if, yo, GG's Rondo and Shipway. Yo, you're always a pleasure as well, bro. Thanks for thanks for playing, guys. Um, let's do let's do a Ms. Marvel. I know you guys like to see the Ms. Marvel, the Ms. Marvel slap show. Ooh, do I want to put this into this? Yeah, precision might fuck it. Yeah. This Marvelous Regalia is still the best piece, and I don't care what anyone says, the the old version of it is the better one. The increased support rate by 18% is way more valuable than the 12% extra damage. Way more valuable. All right, so... Hello, GG's. Um, yo, uh, Backplat and Vastion will get you in, and then we got one more, we got one more spot. Vastion, I think you were just Vastion with a V, right? Yeah, there you are. And then, yeah, we got one more, whoever wants in. I'm going to play Kamala, so play whoever you want. We should uh, GG the boss pretty quick. Mr. Beach, there you are, dude. I got you, Mr. Beach. I think your name was Beach... Beach Wizane... I assume, unless there's two different beaches in here. Uh, yo, Black, we'll get you in the next one. Mr. Beach, um, he beat you to the punch. But we'll get you in the next one, Black. Look at this dude coming into the OLT 173. Now, this, this man is a show-off. All right? This man's over here showing off with his 173... My God. Doesn't even need the OLT. He's coming in here. Um, Steven, I can do a Black Widow guide, but I think I'm going to actually change my build up from what I'm currently using before I do that. I've got some ideas spinning for a different build. I would like to do... Something that's more valor based, just off the top of my head, valor based, full auto, right? Full auto Sonic. So full auto Sonic 
with like Sonic Sender and then um and then uh what is it? And then basically from there using uh just going just going high valor with damage buff on targeted for your for your full auto shot. I think that's gonna be the easiest, smashiest way to do things. I think that's gonna plow through everything. Oh, Dread, we'll get you in the next one, dude. We will get you in the next one for sure, guaranteed. Is my girlfriend? Oh, my girlfriend's home. They need an Elite Super Adaptoid? Yeah, they should do that. I mean, they should do... They should do some type of like other way to get to 175. That's not just the, uh, you know, the OLT, right? Or just, excuse me, not just the raid, right? Because I mean, the raid's fine, but when once you're at like 160 and to go to 160 to 175, it's just a lot of the same. I'm sure once like the next big piece of content comes out or the next like rise in power they're going to make it a lot easier to get to the baseline power than of 175 you know what i'm saying while this is loading up give me one second boys i'll be right back while this is loading back everybody you guys already beat it without me look at this i'm helping i'm helping from beyond the grave what's the best place to get good gear i mean that's a tough that's a loaded question there's a lot of places that give a lot of different gear it's hard to say any one best place for gear if you're just looking for random rolled gear um you're probably going to want to do uh DNA key chest farming in the elite vault. But that is like, again, that's only going to give you certain gear. Um, all different mission types give different gear. So depending on what you're looking for, for a particular character, you're going to have to do that type of mission. What's up, Ronan? How you doing, brother? Yo, week's going good. Hope your week's going well. Closing in on Christmas. So that's always a fun time. 
Work has been a, a nightmare, but I've got a couple of days off coming up, so, you know, just counting down until we get to there, which I say counting down tomorrow is actually my last day, but I'm expecting it to be a doozy, but we'll see. Hope your week's going good, man. For this Kamala build, you know, I mean, this piece is the best, but I feel like I definitely want to do something Sonic-y. Um, but the problem is, trying to get Sonic Sender, you're going to have to get that on the 4 slot, and I don't really want to replace Marvelous Regalia for anything, because it, it's like hands down the best piece in the game. So, it's a little tough, right? I mean, is anyone is anyone here playing Ms. Marvel without the Marvelous Regalia? I mean, I guess you could just not use it, right? I mean, it's going to be worse for everybody else involved, right? Because it's it's a team, it's like a support piece, right? It's like the best support piece in the game by far. So if you don't use it, like your team is going to not benefit as much, but you can pop, possibly get a lot better, right? So I guess that's the question. I don't know. I don't know what the right answer is. Good job, guys. Take the preservation hall. No, she actually didn't. Um, she went to she went on a ghost tour. Um, she went to the Museum of Death, and she went and see the La La Rue house. And then, other than that, she just kind of chilled around, like uh, a little bit on Bourbon Street, a little bit on Frenchman Street. Places like that. Oh, we didn't get it. Oh, no. Gotcha, guys. I was seeing some unbelievable damage numbers with Kamala the other day. I swear that my my uh, ranged punches were hitting triple numbers. I'm not even I'm not even capping. I was seeing like a hundred. I was seeing like a hundred and ninety nine. Look, I think it just happened there. There it is. It just happened there. It hit three different numbers. Oh, unless you know what it might be. One of those might be just the gamma. As it as it was happening. That's a possibility. We should get uh, four, four times XP this weekend if CD cares. I mean, do you think they care? I mean, it's it is what it is. I mean, yeah, it would be a nice thing to to put out there, especially for like uh, the holiday, right? Just because like they're not putting out any additional content right now, so. Kind of like a kind of like a mind as well, right? The one thing about the stinking grab is that you literally uh, it gets you caught up. If if you shrink a guy while you're grabbing them, it's not gonna do the grab. Like it'll it'll drop them. Which I think is a little silly, but what are you going to do? Also, you can't grab them while they're holding a shield, which is stupid. There you go. Yeah, just for Christmas. Yeah, just like, a, yeah. I mean, that would be a cool thing. Well, like I said, I mean, nothing else is going to happen this Thursday, right? I mean, they're not coming out with, like, a new 
content drop. They're not coming up with an event, or they're going to come up with an event, but what event's going to be? They already ran through all their events. They did the Cosmic Cube, they did the Tachyon Surge, they did the Red Room. Those are the only events they really have. So, I mean, nothing else is really coming out if they were just like, you know, four times XP now through the new year, that would be sweet. Do I think they'll bring back the Black Friday sale on Christmas? I don't think so. I mean, maybe, but that's anyone's guess. I, 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 I can't even guess, like, anything that they're going to do. I'm still in shock that they didn't do a No Way Home suit. Or even just any MCU Spider-Man suit. I mean, like, I tweeted about it um, earlier. It's like, there were three possibilities. Either, you know, and like, because I got a lot of slack for calling them out on it in that video I did. Where I just said, it's it's just an embarrassment. It's just bad business, right? And some people are like, well, you don't know what you're talking about. They might not have been able to, right? They might have been told no by Sony or by Marvel. Which, if that's the case, that's not any better. That's not any, that, that even is almost worse. It's almost worse that, like, you've got Spider-Man in your game, and yet you're the only game who, who was told that they can't do the suit. Like, if that's the case, that's bad. Or they're not, they just weren't ready to do it. They didn't develop it in time, which is also terrible. Um, or they uh, just didn't want to do it. They just said, yeah, you know what, it's not worth it. Which is also terrible, considering how hot Spider-Man is, you know? They should be following all the MCU hype. Every time an MCU thing comes out, they should have a suit ready to go for it. Hands down. If they've got a character in the game, which they follow the MCU pretty closely. I mean, when the She-Hulk show comes out, if She-Hulk's in the game by then, they should have a She-Hulk thing. They should have put a, what is it, a Hawkeye. They should absolutely, hopefully tomorrow, they reveal the Hawkeye suits, right, that we're going to be getting for the finale. Um, or possibly Spider-Man, I don't know. They got to reveal something. If they don't have anything tomorrow, then, which I don't think they're going to have a Hawkeye suit because we, we got the the bad Hawkeye reskins, and I think that's uh, pretty much the end of it, right? I mean, if it's not that, then then it's, it's over, right? Like, that that feels like all they were doing for... Uh, it feels like that's all they were going to do for, for, what's it called? For the Hawkeye show, so... So that's that. I feel like sometimes the damage on this thing is great and sometimes it's terrible, right? Like sometimes these take 100 hits and sometimes they take one hit. So I really don't quite understand. But maybe we're not supposed to. You know, Kamala doesn't have, like, super invulnerability. This sort of stuff would just kill her. <laughs> right? Like, she's not, she's not like, the woman of steel. Hey, what's going on, Azus? What's going on, Joshua? Shrinking the adaptoid gravity is incredible. Yeah, man, that's the move. You know, I'm going to try to do it without Sonic this time, guys. So uh, we'll see how it goes. It should it should do more overall damage, I think, but just not... I'm expecting a lot of damage, um, but it's not going to be an infinite grab, so we'll see. And if that doesn't work, then um, then I'll switch, but... They're going to give us back the Avenging Archer set they took down from the marketplace. Merry Christmas is here's Kate and Clint. I mean, pff, we'll see. The thing is, I mean, um, Kate and Hawkeye were the only two that didn't actually get an Avenging Archer set. So you would think that maybe it's because they're going to get their suits, but we'll see.
I'd hate it if the game died because they didn't make enough money off of skins because they were too stupid to not to release too stupid to release relevant skins. I know. Well, that's my problem. I mean, people people you know when I s complain about skins, it's not coming from a place of like oh they didn't give me the skin I want. Like obviously everyone's gonna have their opinions on what skins they want to see, right? But it's not even about that. It's about the fact that the game is built like I don't know how they. You know, a lot of people will just say, like, oh, well, they need to fix the bugs before they release more skins. This game's got enough skins, blah, 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 right? Like, okay. Like, the bug fixes the skins. Like, skins and bug fixes are going to come separately regardless, right? Like, the team fixing the bugs is not the team developing skins. But at the same time, like, your game is built... Your game is makes money solely through skins, right? And the fact, like, I would have people working on all the coolest skins all the time. Like, they act like there's this big, major approval process, but honestly, like, whatever the hell that is should be their number one priority. It should absolutely just be their number one priority to get that stuff buttoned up. Like, there should be no confusion as to, like, the skins that they're doing, right? They should put out the skins that everyone wants and just keep it at that, and then everyone's happy. And they're happy, and they're making money. Like... If they're gonna complain like that they're lacking resources, right? Like they're always just like, oh, like our play our guys are stretched thin. Okay, hire more developers, right? Like hire more developers, pay them more. Oh, but you don't have money. Well, you know, get the guys to do good skins. They're doing this avenging archer set. Like they should have never done the Avenger Avenging Archer set. Half of the team skins that are just awful looking, that are just like the sets, literally half of those can go fly a kite. And instead, if people were just working on, like, one-to-one -one comic book skins or MCU skins, like, those are the things that we're going to sell, right? Like, we should be getting a whole... We should have already really gotten... Unless it's coming out this week, we should have already gotten a Kate Bishop and Hawkeye MCU skin, or it comes out next week, but there should have absolutely been a Spider-Man skin. Okay, like that would have sold the Hawkeye and Kate skins would sell. Like Infinity War Widow is not selling. Like if you got Infinity War Widow, if you like that, good for you. It's a fine skin. It's not. It's not what we need. Uh, what's up, Googleplex? Can you do it with Claw? The squeeze? No, can't do the squeeze on Claw. Deeper depths? How you doing, bro? What's going on? What's going on? Uh, who's your favorite person to play with? Um, I've been liking Iron Man the most lately, but I also really like Kamala. And I would say my best character is Thor. Where do you get that Kamala range piece? Villain Sector? Yeah, you can get it from the Villain Sector. It can also randomly be sold by the Wakanda vendor. Um, but you want to make sure you get it with ranged attacks, ranged attacks. It's very important. You don't want held enemies. When it says held enemies, t deal, take whatever damage, that doesn't work. You want ranged attacks, ranged attacks is the only way it's going to work. You want Infinity War Iron Man? That would be pretty sweet. I feel like they've kind of done enough Iron Mans just for, for my liking, but I mean, I'm an Iron Man fan, um, but I don't even use, like, I use the, um, what is it? Is someone, is Iron Man getting these? No, he's doing something else. Okay, I'll, I'll get them. Five, three, two, four. Okay, now I'll be in the middle if everyone else is going to get them. Um, I, I like the Iron Man 1 skin. That's my favorite. Avengers ran train on Kamala. Give you 30 bucks for Hawkeye show skins. Right. Like, people would buy both of them. Kate Bishop has no good skins. Zero. She has the worst skins in the game. If they gave them a good-looking MCU Kate Bishop skin, that would be fire. People would buy that. Like, there are a lot of... Kate fans out there all right so like there's that um and then of course Hawkeye a lot of people love Hawkeye right like they're gonna they're gonna do that it was the Hawkeye uh Civil War skin was leaked it was it was leaked not a picture of it but it was leaked through the shipments 
it was there was like a leaked uh text line in the game files that said like get your hawkeye civil war suit by you know getting a hundred shipments you know it was like one like the wakanda stealth iron man it was leaked that hawkeye civil war is going to be a skin too but who knows if they're really going to do that or if that was just placeholder but the point is the the words hawkeye civil war skin were somewhere that would be a sweet skin people would love people would love uh hawkeye civil war you know so i don't know yo nick ruse thank you nick welcome to the cereal bowl appreciate the new sub homie Miller, that can't be the real Miller. Where are the Team MCU quantum suits? They're asleep at the wheel. Those would be sweet suits. They're asleep at the wheel. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know who's making the decision of what skins get released, but wh whoever it is, they're doing a bad job. And, like, you could say whatever you want about, oh, they have to get this approval, that approval. Like, they're doing a bad job at doing that. Like... You know, when, like I said, if your game is built on, you, you, your game is sustained, your your primary income source is microtransactions, like the team that I would have on getting the approvals, like t working with the right people to make sure they can put out all the skins they can put out and working on those skins to make sure we get every freaking skin that the players want, like that would be my number one priority if I was running Crystal Dynamics. Right, like obviously the game has to run, but like get, putting out really cool skins that people want is a pretty easy. It's a, it's a small win, right? Like in the overall grand scheme of the game. Obviously the the game's got other issues, but in the grand scheme, that's a pretty good. It's a pretty thing, good good thing to satisfy for people, right? And it's it's the one thing that's going to make you money. So, like they're over here trying to get more players playing the game. They need to do more with the players they already have. Iron Man 1 skin is the GOAT. Facts. That is facts. Um, I was using the Wakanda Stealth for a while just because it was kind of the hot new thing, but honestly, I went right back to Iron Man 1. Hope to see some MCU Spider-Man skins. Raimi skin would be my choice, but yeah, Hawkeye Spider-Man better be in Thursday. Bro, I mean, if we get Hawkeye or Spider-Man, I will fall off of my chair. I don't think we're getting either one. I think Spider-Man... I think if they had Spider-Man, they would have released it already like, you know, like every other game did. I think something is red taping them on Spider-Man. I think they are being, they're being, uh, you know, forced to not do it. But other than that, what I was going to say is uh, I think the Hawkeye skins, the Hawkeye skins are more possible. But seeing as how we got that whole Avenging Archer set... It makes me believe that that's pretty much all they're doing. Twenty two might be the last of heroes. I mean, it could be. They said that they're planning content all the way through twenty twenty three, but like you know, it's like MH said, it would be stupid if this game just went under because they just weren't performing financially because they didn't put out the skins that they should be putting out, you know? There's a ton of skins that people want in this game, but if they're not going to put them out, then they're just being stupid. That's that's what I say. You think they have a lot more comic accurate skins even how many comic books or collectibles? Yeah, well, I mean, don't even get me started on that. All right, so I'm not using the Sonic Grab here, so we'll see how much damage this does. Um, but I think it'll still be pretty, pretty good. I just don't know how long I'm going to be able to hold him. It might not be as long as I would like it to be. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, we got him. Pfft. Come on. Did you see those 240 ticks? And that was no damage buff. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's pretty insane. That's pretty insane. 
That was pretty dope. Yo, GG boys, holy shit. Fix the game first. Well, that's the thing, Chu. You know, they, they're they doing that as well. But if they're over here complaining that they can't hire devs, they don't have enough money, which they're not outright saying that, but they're basically saying, like, limited resources, we can only fix things so quick. Well, guess what? If you, you, you know, you need more money for your game to succeed, like, and you, you only sell skins to make money, sell more fucking skins. Like, come on. Where was the fight? Yo, fight was over before it started, bro. Yeah, it's this piece right here. I mean, you can do it a couple different ways, but this was the piece right here. Range attacks, particle, range attacks, gamma. So the squeeze, once he's small and you're in him big and you can squeeze him. And it's guaranteed battery because of this. That's that. Yo, GG, boys. I hope you guys got something good. Let me see what we got here. Uh, ooh. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this actually. The the melee to grant a cosmic surge is actually not too bad. I'll keep that for my melee. Uh, this we didn't get. This we didn't get. And this we got. Neither of these matter. Okay, cool. Yellow iso, blue iso. It's the this one's got to get. Oh, big jump there. Big jump. Now I'm at 35, 35 here. This is nice. I like this. All right, sweet. You just got targeted buff Tachyon from this full auto. Nice, dude. I wonder if I got something fancy like that. Oh, I did get a Tachyon's raise, but it's not. <laughs> Damn, that's insane. But it wasn't, it wasn't targeted. That's nuts, dude. Uh, you can get this piece of gear from Villain Sectors, or sometimes the Wakanda vendor sells it. Yo, GG's, boys. Um, I think we are going to call the, the stream there, though. I know it was a, a shorter stream, but I do have to get going. It's a little late. I started the stream a little late today, um, and I, I do want to spend some time with my girlfriend before the end of the night. Um, but that's it for me. Um, new video coming out tomorrow. You're going to want to watch it. Be sure to sub if you haven't already. Join the Discord, link is in the description, and um, consider becoming a channel member as well. Other than that, though, guys, take it easy. Thank you for hanging out. Thanks for the games. Uh, thanks for all the new subs. I'll catch you guys in the next one.